Hey guys, what's up? This is Lasercorn with Mahalo Video Games, coming at you with a three-game series between two players I really like to watch, Duckload Ra, formerly White Raw, our Protoss player over here, and Straylock, Mao's Straylock, over here on our Red player, Red Terran player on Scrap Station. And I found this series on Gosu's website. Um, I think it was Gosu Gaming, yeah, and it under events it had a little 24 symbol but i'm not sure what that is so if anyone knows what event this is from this three game series go ahead and post that up in comments uh that would be awesome of you and yeah i really like these two players white rye he's up there with huck on my list of top uh protoss players that i like watching uh a great player and straylock uh, i've been casting a lot of him lately too because i just really uh, like the way he plays and i'm a terran player so i'm right there with him i understand what's going on what's going through his head and Scrap Station, a uh, pretty good place for a TVP matchup. Um, some might argue that Terrans have a little bit of an advantage because they can float a command center over here and take that without any type of transport or anything on the island. Um, but you don't really see a lot of pro players doing that. Most players like to have their natural expansion uh, be their expansion, and uh, you know that's easier to defend and. Just uh, you have units right there. You don't have to ferry anything over there in a dropship or anything. So not too much of a disparity. Uh, some players will go down for this gold expansion real fast and put that up quickly and try and tip the scales that way. Um, interesting base construction here from Straylock. He seems to have kind of walled off his minerals a little bit here with this barracks supply depot build uh, or setup anyway. And <laughs> probe getting in there causing a little bit of havoc. Mineral line, and this is this is kind of interesting. You don't see this too too often. Um, if you were to build some more buildings over here, you'd have almost a complete wall in the mineral line. It'd be pretty hard to get to them. Although all you really have to do is drop units back here behind the mineral line or run them around the edge. Um, but it offers at least a little bit of protection. It's going to delay any units trying to get in there. Uh, you have the cyber core coming out over here on Duckload side of the base, and he is. Opted to go Zealot uh, before before Stalker. Some players will get the Stalker out. Uh, we'll just wait for the Cyber Core to come up and then boost the Stalker right away, just to get rid of this annoying little SCV that will undoubtedly be in the base. The Zealot not quite as fast as the SCV. Uh, oh, but still manages to catch him and get a hit off there. And it looks like yeah, scouting will be denied either way. So excellent work, work with the Zealot. The Zealot will uh, hang out on that ramp, and this is a very wide ramp. If you compared to something like, I don't know, Delta Quadrant or something like that. So, um, yeah, the Terran player, the Protoss player is not well enough, but uh, it's difficult to do anyway. And really, you don't have to worry about a rush on a map with walk distance like this. Uh, I mean, you can cut through these debris, to, or rock piles, but those rock piles take a while to shoot down. So, um, most of the time, any, if you're going to be coming early, you got to walk all the way around this way. Uh, the exception being, of course, if you're tossed, you can throw down a proxy pylon, and he is getting that warp gate technology, which would allow him to throw up a proxy pylon and just warping units directly. Um, one other thing I should mention about the natural here is there is this debris pile, so if you set up your defenses right here, uh, your opponent can skip right into your base if they knock down that debris pile. Looks like a marine marauder force now coming out for Straylock and they're probably going to get sighted by that probe and straight er, I'm sorry, Duckload's going to be ready for it. Let's see what we got coming out of the Wilbo Bay. It looks like a, an observer going to come out and go check the base of Straylock. Straylock has no observers on the field, but he does have that orbital command up, which would allow him to scan the observer and uh, destroy it if he sees the little ghosted signature. It is possible uh, when you're in... I can just show it to you. Uh, it is possible to see the little ghost signature. You can see it right there. Uh, so if he sees that and then throws a scan down, he can marine kill it. And will he do it? No. No, it looks like he missed it. Uh, it is hard to see, as I mentioned. And looks like we've got an expansion coming up here for White Rod, Duck Road Rod. Um, meanwhile, an already built orbital command center floating out to the natural. It is seen by Duckload, and 
Wow, the expansion forward duck load getting scattered by this SCV. So both players are aware of their opponent's expansion. And wow, an Immortal now out on, out on the field coming out of that robotics bay. Um, this force I, is just probably a scout force. They, Even with that Immortal, they don't have enough to take on uh, Straylock's army here of Marines and Marauders. And it's a very infantry heavy build he's got going on here. You can see four bar barracks, no factories. Although he probably will want one of those later. And... The observer coming down here, he's going to see that Straylock is breaking down these destructible rocks and is going to be going after uh, the base of Duckload. Uh, Duckload, oh, Duckload's coming in with a warp prism right now, and uh, those warp prisms can load up with troops. They can also turn into like pylon mode. Yes, he's doing it right now where he can warp in troops from his warp gates right now, and that entire mineral line is getting decimated. The SCV is trying to defend themselves uh, with a little help from a marina and marauder, but most of Straylock's forces are tied up at that, uh, oh, and more forces warping in. You can see them warping in off that pylon power. Most of Straylock's forces are tied up at that uh, debris pile, trying to bust it down and go after Duckload's base. And wow, just these zealots doing incredible amounts of damage uh, to the mineral line. Let's look at the harvesters real quick. 32 to 19. Uh, Straylock has to respond here. He has to do some damage and make Duckload pay for that attack. Otherwise, he's going to find fall woefully behind on economics. And here comes the attack. But excellent force fields cutting off Straylock's forces. Whoa, those were great force fields. Um, it looks like all Straylock's forces are going to get picked off here as the, the reinforcements try to come in from behind. And you really need to bring your uh, full arsenal when you're taking on these immortals. And it looks like probes coming out now too. Uh, and they're just going to be main arted to the expansion. And oh no, another warp prism attack here. And it looks like more SCVs going down. And finally, uh, Straylock leaves the game. GG's out. So excellent play from Duckload. Um, wow, uh, that was an exciting game. I hope to see some more in this series.